Lurism and boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to delete like Isaac in Premiere Pro. First, go to new item, sequence, horizontal 9020, vertical 1080. Again, go to the new item, color matte. Let me select the color white. Add this into the timeline. Now, I'm going to add the screenshot of my YouTube front page. Add this into the timeline. I want this image to zoom out. Under for control, set key from position and scale at the beginning. Go a few frames forward and change the scale size to 100. Let me adjust the position slightly to the left. Click this drop down icon, adjust the graph like this. Add Isaac image into the timeline. Place it over here. Set keyframe for position. Drag it down. Go few press forward and position up. As you can see in this image, you can see some background. Let me remove it by under opacity. You can see this pen tool. Add rough mask like this. Adjust the graph. Now I want to add some wiggly animation to the Isaac and this screenshot image. So what I'm going to do is set a keyframe for position. Go 5 or 6 frames forward and slightly change position to left or right. So do this step again and again. Let me import some explosion sparkles elements into the timeline. So I downloaded these elements from production crate. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. It's free. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Go to Windows, Essential Graphics. Align it to center. And add stroke. Stroke color black. I want this test to pop up. Set a keyframe for scale, change to 0, go 3 frames forward and change scale size to 100. Do this for all the other test layers. Now I am going to zoom in the background image. Let me delete these unwanted keyframes. So these are the wiggle animation keyframes. Set keyframe for position and scale over here. Go a few frames forward and increase the scale size and adjust the position to profile pick. For the Isaac image, delete the unwanted wiggle animation keyframes. Let me go over here and set a keyframe for position. Go a few frames forward and position down. Now I'm going to add a sparkle video in here. So let me add one more sparkle video over here too. So next I want to zoom in this profile pic. So what I'm going to do is set the background image and add the position and scale size. If 
using razor tool i'm going to cut the background image over here add another background image in here set keyframe for position and scale increase the scale size and position where you can see the profile pic go few press over and adjust the scale size and position Now let me go to the window, extension, Premiere Composer. So this Premiere Composer is from Mr. Horse. It's completely free. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. So I also uh, add a video about this Mr. Horse plugin. You can click on this top right corner to watch the full video. Starter pack, select zoom in, click add. Let me place this transition over here. And another nice image in here. Also, I'm going to add an explosion video over here. Go to effect controls and adjust the position scale. Our background image is moving, so we need to adjust the position scale accordingly. Add this test layer over here. Let me change the test. We need to add a pop out test animation. So set keyframe for scale, change to zero. Go three frames forward and increase the scale size. After that done, let me delete and cut the background image. Same goes to this Isaac image. Let me add another Isaac image over here. Go to the new item. Add this over here. Let me remove this by going under opacity, pen tool, add a rough outline. Place this character over here. Using this rectangle shape tool, let me create this rectangle shape like this. Change field color to black. Under shape layer, select this rectangle mask. Create a mask like this. Place this over here. Increase the mask further. Let me add a transition here. Go to Window Premiere Composer. Add this transition. Now let me add a test. Places above the color mat. Set keyframe for position, place it all the way to the left. Go a few frames forward and place it to the right. Let me add a wiggle animation to this Isaac image. Set keyframe for position, go a few frames forward and slightly position down. Again, go a few frames forward, position right. Cut the Isaac image and rectangle shape layer and delete the unwanted portions. Set keyframe for position at the end of the Isaac image. Go a few frames forward and position down. Do the same for the rectangle shape layer.
Now I'm going to create a four duplicates of this test layer by holding Alt key or Option key, drag it on top. Adjust the position of each letter. Set keyframe for scale and change to zero. Go few press over and increase the scale size. Do the same for the all the other test layers. Add Gaussian blur to all the test layers. Set keyframe for blurriness, change to 50. Go few press over and change the blurriness to 0. Copy this Gaussian blur and paste it to all the other test. But first, a message from our sponsors. So we don't have any sponsors, so back to the video. Now I want this to zoom in and change the position to the right. For doing this, I will cut these four test layers and color mat and this watch test test layer. Let me cut the story layer one more time over here. So draw this layer, except story layer, nest it. Go to the new item, add black video over here. Set the necessary sequence and set a keyframe for position and scale. Go a few frames forward and adjust the position and scale like this. For this story test, I will adjust the scale size to match this test. Now go to effects and add tint. Change the map white to yellow. Set keyframe for MO to tint to 0. Go few press forward and change tint to 100. Add a lighting video in here. Let me adjust the position. Now I'm going to create a circle like this. Fill none and check stroke. Stroke color yellow. Add another small circle and say stroke none and check fill color. Change color to violet. Create a multiple duplicate of this small circle and place it like this. Now use a rectangle shape tool and I'm going to create a rectangle shape like this. Change color to white. Create multiple copies and place it like this. Using type tool, I'm going to add test. Place each letter like this.
Let me add a sparkle video over here. Cut the unwanted portions. For final touch up, go to effects and aggression blur to this first background image. Set keyframe for blurriness, go few frames forward and change to 10. Again, go a few frames forward and change blurriness to 0. Do the same for the second background image. Also for the last shape layer. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos, and I will see you on my next video.